Hi, I'm Ruby Wax, and I have a weekly website. It's part of the Headroom Campaign. And I want to show you some of the amazing experiences I've had so far. Hi, I'm sorry I'm late. Um, welcome to Ruby's Room. It's my show on the web. It's about mental health. It's part of BBC Headroom. And this week we're going to be talking about OCD, which is short way of saying obsessive compulsive disorder. Um, I actually have just a tiny bit of that. Um, <laughs> I know this sounds weird, but <clears throat> before I start filming, I always have to be wearing my lucky red under pants. Nope, they're white. I gotta change. Sorry. Gotta change it to red. Can you turn on the voices and then speak? I can't turn them on, no. They just come. They just come, you right. know. For example, a couple of days ago I woke up and um, knowing now the skies were grey, but to me they weren't. They were just all these beautiful golden colours and the trees were, just became like flowers. And, you know, every particle of air kind of seemed like it was just a jewel. In it. And I can't turn that on, but when those kind of experiences come, I really I really am thankful for them and, I, and I, I, sometimes psychosis can be a nice gift. Depression leads to lack of concentration and yeah, you, can't, you don't sleep you properly, can't read, you, you can't, can't read, you can't eat, you can't eat. Yeah. <laughs> um, and you just feel <sighs> exhausted all the time. That's how I felt and incredibly emotional all the time, incredibly. Just at the drop of a hat I'd cry and I couldn't stop crying and I'd cry all night and wake up looking like a fish. <laughs> Max, um, well okay, my son is, this is my son Max. Max, when you were taking your exams, okay, when you were doing your A-levels, did you have a life? <sighs> you should get used to your bedroom. Why did you work so hard? Because you think everyone else is doing so. Right. And also, every time you don't work so hard, you kind of get a little guilty that you're not working so hard. And who, I think that's the only pressure. Who made you guilty? Um, well, I don't want to... You can be honest. Yeah, you. It was me. Yeah. I'm sorry. Did I make you a nervous wreck? Um, no. No. You yeah. made me nervous. <laughs> sure. Yeah. A wreck. No. No. Well, there you go. <laughs> there you go. I stopped at wreck. Yeah. You know, if you've got a problem with low self-esteem, don't try and conquer everything at once. You know, just set teeny goals. Tiny, like if you have a problem with death or something at work or, you know, got a weight thing, just tiny inch by inch steps and maybe write it down in a journal. Or else write three good things about yourself once a day, just three teeny things that you like about yourself. And also, you know, if you suspect that maybe it's connected to something else like depression, then look at our headroom site or see a therapist. When you've got bulimia, it's often you think about food all the time, not just around food or at meal times, obviously. It got to the stage where I would dream about food. I would dream about binging. So I'd be awake and I'd be thinking about food every second of the day, for every minute of the day. Like what you're going to get? Like what you're going to get, what you, what you should be avoiding, what you ate yesterday, what you ate today, how much you're weighing, how much do you want to weigh by the end of the week. Ah. This must be really hard for you to give them medication and you know yeah. you're having an that's, adverse that's effect. What, yeah, that's what I mean, because people go to So are you, well, how does this, I, how does, what does this do to your head? Your head, your it's head. It's horrible because I'm having to medicate my child, but at the same time, this medication could be harming my child. But it's the medication is giving him some sort of life. So here's my advice: next time you feel you want to self harm, get a diary and write down the feelings that are connected with wanting to hurt yourself. Just write them down. You know, take out your anger on the thing. Or get a felt tip and do maybe, you know, just draw on yourself, do a butterfly, something like that, or wherever you want to self-harm. So maybe the next time there's sort of a reminder that there's something there that you don't want to hurt. Or else get a prop and really take out your frustration on something else besides yourself. Just slam it and get back at those bullies that really pissed you off when you were in high school and that shit who once hurt your feelings and just whack it rather than whacking yourself and take it out.